Oh, hello birds. Okay, just birds flying above my head. All right, let's hope I don't get pooped on in a video. Because if I do, that's gonna be the title of this video, clickbait. Girl gets crapped on by bird. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Donata White, and I help you simplify your life and get to the good stuff. If you haven't already, I would love to invite all of you to join the party by clicking the subscribe button down below this video. So today I'm sharing with you my experience on week three of the Gage Girl Training six week budget keto shred. So we're almost halfway there and today actually starts phase two of the program of three phases. So I'm pretty excited to get started eating some new menus, but this week poses some very special challenges that I'm gonna to mention to you guys. If you're in my online community, the Coffee Date Circle, you know that I like to consider every live video that we do a coffee date. And because we're spilling some tea about this week, actually there is no tea, there's only coffee. I did bring my beverage, I'm gonna sip it right now. But the challenge this week is that we're actually moving. <laughs> Today we are packing up everything that's in this house. And Jeff is also painting the ceiling in the living room. Remember I told you we were painting that room last week? Um, it's almost done. I'm gonna be able to show you the finished product soon. And we have a bunch of errands to run before we actually pick up the keys to the apartment. So that's all over the span of like two and a half days. And that means that we're gonna have to make the keto budget shred super convenient this week. Otherwise it ain't happening because we're gonna pass a lot of drive-throughs on all of that driving that we're doing. And mama doesn't wanna eat McDonald's and ruin her shred. So with all of that said, you know, the importance of being prepared and making the shred super convenient for yourself and not unduly stressing yourself out with what am I gonna eat on the keto budget shred this week? I haven't gone grocery shopping yet. Oops, we were busy doing other things, namely packing and painting, and I'm actually going to have to take a look at the program and make sure that some of the leftover food I have from last week, you know, ground beef, leafy greens, all that kind of stuff, fits into some of the menus, and then that way I can eat a few meals before we actually go grocery shopping today, and I can show you guys what it costs and all that stuff, you know, regular grocery trip vlog. But I have to make sure that what's left in the fridge actually fits the program, otherwise we're gonna have to go like right now. We have a winner. It looks like menu seven is gonna be the winner for today because I actually have all of the ingredients necessary for menu seven left over from last week. So that's another fun thing. You may actually end up with extra ingredients that you can extend for another day or two into the following week, which makes the program even less expensive to do. So I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast and then show you guys my bacon cheeseburger that I get for lunch. Oh my God. Okay, so lunch today is supposed to be a bacon cheeseburger, but I had some leftover ground beef from uh, last week which is good because that means that my ingredients are stretching a little bit further than I expected. But because it was already cooked in this crumbled up format, instead of a bacon cheeseburger, I'm doing bacon cheeseburger lettuce cups. So I'm gonna wrap the meat and the cheese, which is already in the bowl with the meat there, in the lettuce cups and then crumble the bacon over top. And it's gonna be delicious. Okay. Update, I was able to make it work yesterday with some leftover ingredients that I had. I was able to do menu seven, I think it was. Um, but that means I have literally no food for the shred left today. And I have to go to the grocery store. <laughs> to add to the chaos, um, we are also driving up to where the new apartment is to stay over at my parents' house uh, because they're kind of close. They're probably about 20 minutes away. Um, to run some errands and stuff and pick up the keys and everything before actual moving day. So here's the plan. We're going to go to the grocery store. I'm going to meal prep everything I need for the next four days because we're moving. And then I'm going to have to figure out which of those meals need to stay here, which of those meals need to go with us up to the apartment and stay at my parents' house or in the new fridge. So we have a busy, busy, busy few days and that just means that preparation is crucial right now. And I've already like, effed that up by not having food in the house. So we're gonna go to the grocery store now and we're trying Food Lion, but keep in mind that I'm only buying four days worth of stuff because we are going to have to stock the fridge at the new place. So I'm going to kind of try to do a calculation for you guys about what it might cost if you were to do a full seven days, but buying four days worth of food, we're gonna prep it, we're gonna put it in containers, and then we're gonna take it with us. 
No big deal, right? Also guys, the room is now painted and doesn't it look so much better? In last week's video, I showed you guys the before of this room because it was painting day, but now we've got it all painted and I just love this color because it's almost white, but it's enough in contrast with the trim that the trim really stands out. It brightens up the room. It looks great with um, the rug and the tile they already have on the fireplace. We are getting new furniture in here so it will match a lot better, but I think it looks awesome. I kind of want to paint my entire house this color. Okay, so we're back from the grocery store and we have all of the ingredients for the next four days of the budget keto shred. The damage at Food Lion was about $47, which works out to be nearly exactly the same as Sprouts and Publix, if you count like on a day-by-day -day basis. I'm a little bit shocked that the Cage Girl training team was able to get the budget so close week to week, even across grocery stores. So kudos to them, that's awesome. I think at this point, we can safely say that you can expect the keto budget shred to cost you around $11 a day to do, which is actually not that bad for a full grown adult human. So now that we're back from the grocery store and it's moving week and it's chaos everywhere, I got a meal prep. That's the only way to stay on track in this situation. Guys, if you're in a sort of chaotic, busy, not gonna have a ton of time to think about meals situation and you in a shred, you have to meal prep. There's no way out of it. Gonna get started and show you what I'm making. So one of the menus actually for this week that I've chosen for phase two calls for rotisserie chicken breast. But if you're on even more of a budget than that, what you can do is buy regular boneless skinless chicken breast and cook it yourself. So rotisserie chicken breast is not expensive to begin with. So if you wanna go that route, totally go for it. A lot of grocery stores have those things prepared for you. And again, they're not expensive, so go for it. But I actually couldn't find it at my grocery store today, so I decided to buy boneless skinless chicken breast, and I'm gonna cook it up in the Instant Pot, which makes it so, so quick. This is actually not the Instant Pot brand, but it is a countertop pressure cooker. It's gonna cook up the chicken breast in about 15 minutes, and then I'll let it cool and shred it myself for an easy um, substitute in for the rotisserie chicken that I was not able to find today. So now that the chicken is in the pressure cooker, I need to get started on the herbal chicken wing recipe. The recipe inside the program actually calls for the chicken to be marinated overnight, but I don't have that much time because we're moving this week. So what I'm gonna do is marinate it for about 15 minutes, and then instead of grilling them like the recipe calls for, I'm actually going to bake it so that the marinade kind of cooks down and sticks to the wings, and that way it will add the flavor that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna get those started, and then finally I get to start the spicy bacon egg cups, which is what I was supposed to eat for breakfast like four hours ago. I'm starving, and I want them to be done right now. I've got two things in the oven. I've got my chicken wings and my egg cups in the oven and my chicken breast just came out of the pressure cooker and if you hate chicken breast because you think it's dry and flavorless, I cannot encourage you enough to cook it in the pressure cooker. I am gonna cut this and I'm not even using anything to hold it on the other side. Like the knife is just going right through. It's so juicy. It retained all this flavor from the seasonings that I put on it and it's so, so tender. I'm not even having to hardly press to cut right through it right now. That is gonna make some delicious salad chicken. Okay, so it's been about 30 to 45 minutes. I wasn't really timing myself, and all that's left to prep for the next four days is I have to assemble a couple of salads and put things in containers, really. I'm waiting for some chicken wings to crisp up under the broiler, and they look about done. And then the one other thing I need to take care of is I need to make the fried rice for today and for another day this week's lunch. I'm just gonna make it in one big batch and then split it into two, eat half today, and then save the other half for another day when I'm on that menu. So we're gonna do that and then pack everything up in containers and I'm done. So if you're thinking about trying the shred but you're worried like, oh no, am I gonna be starving for six weeks? Um, this is a serving of these egg cups. This is a breakfast, six of them. No, you won't be hungry. So we are finally done, 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 and I have all of my meals packed, including day one of being in the apartment, so I won't have to immediately start cooking when I'm trying to unpack. So over here are the meals I need to eat today. That's gonna be lunch and dinner. It's way past lunchtime, but 
look at this deliciousness. This is like cauliflower fried rice topped with egg and this is, yep, chicken wings with creamed spinach. Oh my God, so delicious. And I also then had to figure out which of the meals need to go with us up to the apartment and which of the meals need to stay here because they're going to be needed on a moving day. So in front of you are my meals for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, which is our first day in the apartment. The meals in the back are going with us up to the apartment, and the meals in the front are staying here because we're going to be here for those meals. So Wednesday night, Thursday morning is right before you move, which is why these are staying here. And this, I chose this day, the day with the egg cups, because this was a super hearty breakfast, and I won't get hungry until later in the day. So that gives me plenty of time to eat and then stay full while we're actually moving, and then I'll eat the remainder of my meals later on in the day. And then of course this day, Friday, is our first full day in the apartment, and I love that I don't have to worry about what I'm going to be eating that day. It's just already in the fridge. So guys, we've been running around all day because we're getting ready to move tomorrow. Minnie had a vet appointment at nine o'clock this morning. Then we had to go to Target to stock up on cleaning supplies and stuff. Then we had to go home to my parents' house, pack up all the stuff that we're bringing to this apartment, the new apartment that I'm in right now. Um, and <coughs> conquered by a dog. <laughs> she loves standing on me. So I had to, um, we had to do all that stuff and now I'm dead tired with a dog standing on my chest. But despite being dead tired and in the middle of a move, I don't have to worry about any of my meals because I meal prepped like I showed you yesterday. And I wanna show you my fridge in the new apartment currently. So here is my fridge currently. Only budget keto shred meals. This is like every shredder's dream right here. It's just all of your containers packed up and nothing else in the fridge to tempt you. This is tomorrow afternoon and evening, and then this is Friday's food, and we have to take a short grocery trip tomorrow um, to get the rest of Saturday and Sunday so that I am good until the following week and I could try the other two menus in phase two. But we're set. I don't have to worry about food until two days after we move in and we're all good. So convenient. I just wanna say that I didn't forget about my husband. The reason there is no food for him in the fridge right now is because the day after we move, he's actually going out of town for one of his best friend's bachelor parties. So um, I'm the only one here. I'm the only one eating until Sunday. So it's all gonna be keto shred food until the hubs gets back and we have like other groceries in our kitchen. Which is right there. There's a full empty apartment tour already up on my channel. So if you're curious, you can go check that out. I'll link it for you up there. Um, otherwise, we're ready to take the long two hour trek back to Jeff's parents' house to pick up the truck and meet the movers tomorrow morning. And I'll see you on moving day. Peace out. So today is moving day. And I look like today is moving day. And of course, today is also the day that I wake up with an aggravated neck injury from a couple months ago. Um, and also the day I lock my keys in the car, in the driveway, with also the spare in the car. So today's a great day, but um, I did eat my breakfast. I'm full, I'm not gonna be hungry until we get to the new apartment. I'm actually gonna go wait in the driveway for this guy to come unlock my keys from the car. I'll see you guys when we get there. Hello guys. Just checking in because it's been two days since moving day and it's looking pretty good. The kitchen's done. Um, most of the living area is unpacked. There's like some curtains drying right there. There's a few boxes left um, and then the bedrooms need some work. But I'll have you know <laughs> that trying to unpack an entire apartment while on keto and in a calorie deficit is possibly the most tiring thing I've done in a long time. Um, my energy is just not what it was when I was eating more carbs and you know eating enough food to maintain my weight. It's understandable. My body's in a calorie deficit right now, right? Like there's 
literally not enough energy, which is why you lose body fat and calorie deficit. So it's understandable. It's just very tiring and like kind of an inconvenient time to be tired <laughs> because I'm trying to unpack my life and start living in this apartment, but it'll get done. Um, I am drinking caffeinated tea at 7 p.m. because I need to do some more. Um, really enjoying the food though. It's really tasty. These chicken wings are delicious. So I'm gonna eat them and see if they give me a little energy boost that will allow me to unpack a few more boxes before bed. Looking extra cute, obviously. Even my arm is tired holding my phone up right now. And just FYI, shredding is gonna make you tired. The other thing I noticed, obviously this week, was that I dropped some more weight. So um, I actually had to use a different scale this week. So just to note, if you're weighing yourself on multiple devices, they may not be totally lined up. So the scale that Jeff's parents have in their house, we're actually back at their house uh, today to do some stuff for them. Um, the scale that they have at their house says that I've lost a total of six pounds. The scale that I have says that I've lost four and a half because I started by weighing myself on their scale and my scale is not calibrated with theirs. So it's actually weighing me a little bit more than theirs is. I'm not worried about it as long as I'm still dropping weight. I don't care what the number is. And I also think that you can see a lot of that progress on my body. And to prove it to you, I have finally come up with the footage for that side-by-side -side turny body shot that I promised you guys, but then lost the footage from week one. So I actually have end of week two and end of week three to compare for you guys right now. It's absolutely working the way it's supposed to. I'm dropping body fat, I'm enjoying the food, so I really have no complaints. So that's it about the six week budget keto shred by Gage Girl Training week three. I do have one question for you guys though. My husband and I are planning on doing a cold brew coffee taste test because we both love coffee and it is summertime, which means it is iced coffee time and we love cold brew. So we're going to try a bunch of different brands of cold brew coffee and we're going to taste test them for you guys on camera to compare them all. So if you have a favorite brand of cold brew coffee, please leave it in a comment below. I would love to include it in the video for you. And if you ever wanna keep in touch with me between videos, the best place to do so is my free online community, the Coffee Date Circle. This is a community I've created for my email subscribers and they are loving it. I do free trainings in there once a week at least. Right now it's twice a week. And it's the very best place to ask me your questions give me your suggestions for video topics, and get direct access to me. So if you are interested in joining the group, click the link below in the description box to learn more. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.